there have been some owners of the Galaxy A50 that have been complaining because they're having some network-related issues. There were those who reported about the 4G LTE that no longer works on their devices. Network-related issues are often minor problems. In other words, you may be able to fix them on your own as long as you're willing to do some troubleshooting procedures. In this video, I will be showing you what to do if your Galaxy A50 can't connect through 4G LTE. First solution, force restart your phone. The first thing that you have to do is the force restart. It's a simulated battery removal that refreshes your phone's memory and reloads all services. If this is just a minor problem caused a glitch in the system, then this procedure is all you need to make 4G LTE work on your phone again. To do this, press and hold the volume down button and the power key for 10 seconds or more. Once the 850 logo shows, release both keys and wait for your phone to finish rebooting. After that, try to see if the 4G LTE is now working properly. If it still does not then try the next solution. The second solution, reset the network settings of your phone. After doing the first solution and your phone still can't connect to the internet via 4G LTE, then what you have to do next is to reset the network settings. This will bring all network services back to factory defaults. This procedure has already been proven to be effective against issues like this. It is effective, but you don't have to worry about your files as they will not be deleted. This is how it's done. Swipe down from the top of the screen and then tap the settings icon. Find on tap general management. Touch reset. Tap reset network settings. Tap the reset settings button. If prompted, enter your pin, password, or patterns. Finally, tap reset. Most of the time, these are the only things you need to do to fix problems like this. However, if it continues then you have no other choice but to do the next solution. Third solution, factory reset your device. If the first two solutions fail, then you have no other choice but to reset your phone. A reset will be able to fix issues like this, provided that the service actually worked before and that you've already called your provider. But before the reset, make sure to create a backup of your important files and data. When ready, follow these steps. Swipe down from the top of the screen and then tap the settings icon. Find and tap general management. Touch reset. Tap factory data reset. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen and tap reset. If prompted, enter your PIN, password, or patterns. Finally, tap delete all. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.